First, just moments ago, former members of the NMSU basketball team who filed a lawsuit against the university as part of the alleged hazing scandal held a press conference. Yeah, Stephanie Muniz was there. She joins us live right now. Stephanie, uh, in emotional last hour. Hey, Todd. Hey, Darlene. Yeah, that press conference just wrapped up here. And right now we are on campus just across where the basketball uh, stadium actually is. Now the family was very emotional. and We were able to hear from those two students from the for the first time about those hazing allegations and what it went like for them. Now, both of the students really described what happened here at NMSU like a dream turned into a nightmare. And specifically for Deuce Benjamin, his father, William Benjamin was an Aggie basketball player himself. He was a Hall of Famer and he emotionally talked about what this entire situation has done to their family. I've been made to feel I was crazy for asking questions and having expectations of those questions being answered. My child has been failed. My family has been failed. And as a father, I feel like I failed my son for putting him in this situation. Now, again, it was very emotional here this morning. We did see Deuce Benjamin get emotional while he was talking to us reporters. And some of the things that he did mention were that he's proud that he survived all of those months of when the situation happened. The parents and the lawyers for these two students also did talk about a faculty letter sent to the Senate and they talked about how the athletic director is still in place. They did mention that changes need to be happen. They t happening. They talked about these letters and these outpour of support coming to NMSU and specifically these students. So really hearing from that side for the first time. And we do know that those basketball players are transfer elsewhere, but this uh, case is still ongoing. They do have an invest investigation going on, and then they did talk about the athletic director, Mario Mosca, about his role in this. They said they're going to have their own investigation to see what he knew and did not know when all of these allegations came to light. Reporting live in Las Cruces, Stephanie Muniz, KWT Action 7 News.